Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets all finished up lower yesterday, but to change things around, they're all higher so far this morning. So it's the first time we've been able to say that for a while, so that's nice to see for the producers out there. Um, we did get export sales released this morning at 7.30. Corn was at the low end of expectations. Beans were at the high end of expectations. And then wheat actually missed what the trade was expecting. Uh, across the USDA 8 o'clock wire, we actually did get some soybean sales announced. Uh, I believe it was around 120,000 metric tons going to China for 2014 2015, and then I think it was 126,000 going to unknown, with 60 of that being for 2013 14 and 66 being for 2014 15. So, other than that, we've got the WASD estimates for tomorrow. So, grab our whiteboard here. And we'll take a look at some data here. Uh, all these numbers are the, for the Bloomberg average estimates or the Bloomberg analyst estimates that they got. Um, so corn yields expected to come in at 165.9 bushels per acre. Uh, that's a little higher than the June estimate of 165.3. Bean yield average estimate was 45.1. That's uh, 0.1 bushels below what was expected in June. Um, not really going to get anything in wheat. We got a lot of all wheat data coming. And, specific data for specific wheat. If you want that, that will be in the Wilkins Agwire on the table, and it'll also be over on grainanalyst.com, but uh, don't have the room to list all the different wheat uh, specifications on here other than the all-wheat production and the all-wheat ending stocks, or the wheat ending stocks that we'll go over over here. But uh, as far as production goes, corn is expected to come in at 13.931 billion bushels, uh, slightly lower than what the USDA came out with in June, which was 13.935. Uh, the soybean production estimates expected to come in at 3.787 billion bushels. That's higher than what we got in June of 3.635. And then wheat production, all wheat production expected to come in at 1.964 billion bushels. And that a uh, little higher than what we got in June of 1.942. Then ending stocks, corn is expected to come in. This is 2014-2015 ending stocks. Corn's expected to be at 1.807 billion bushels, a little higher than we were in June, which June was 1.726. Ending stocks for beans expected to come in at 417 million bushels. That's a lot higher than was expected in June of 300, 325 million bushels. And then wheat, 590 million bushels versus 574 in June. So a lot of numbers. Again, if you want to check out the whole thing, you're probably not going to remember everything I said there or want to pause it and just take it down. Check out the Wilkins Aguirre. It'll have a table in there for you. Also, Grain Analyst, it'll be posted there as well. That way you can see the full spectrum of what the trade is expecting out of tomorrow's report. So that's all we've got for today. We'll go over those numbers again tomorrow, and then we'll also have a post-report uh, Wilkins Aguirre to let you know what happened with the report, how the trade reacted, and how the markets closed. So that's all we've got for today. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow morning. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.